Hey everybody, Professor Matt. Welcome to the beginning of your jiu-jitsu journey with Balanced Jiu-Jitsu. We understand how complicated and frustrating jiu-jitsu can be at first and are here to help you get the most out of your training. As challenging as the jiu-jitsu journey can be, it is full of rewards like improvements in your overall health, character, and self-esteem. With this guide, we hope to provide some of the principles and philosophies that may not always be apparent in class, especially for the beginner. You should watch this video if you are considering starting Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You should also watch this video if you are already training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu but you just started. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content that we're going to provide for you on this channel. Starting with the six primary positions, the first position we have is the guard. Undoubtedly the most complex of the six positions, the guard is very central to the art of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The guard can be subdivided into three additional categories, closed guard, open guard, and half guard. Next we have side control or side mount, knee on the belly, mount, back control or back mount, and the turtle position. It's a game of positional hierarchy. Some positions are more advantageous than others. Here are some basic concepts. It is generally better to be on top than the bottom. The only neutral bottom position is the guard. If you're on the bottom in any other position other than the guard, you are descending and defending. So the best position for you to be in is rear mounted on your opponent, mounted on your opponent, knee on the belly on your opponent, side control on your opponent, and turtle position in the top side position. Neutral position would be you inside your opponent's guard or your opponent in your guard. So the worst positions would be your opponent turtled on you, you underneath side control, you underneath knee on the belly, you underneath the mount, and your opponent on your back with their hooks in would be the worst. There are of course exceptions. Most of these exceptions tend to be with advanced practitioners and we strongly encourage that you be grounded in the fundamentals before branching out. There is no absolution in any situation and always remember what works for one player may not work for you. Try to always look for an advantageous position. Primarily, we always want to be on top. The half guard and turtle are traditionally considered desperate positions as it is one step away from having your guard passed or having your back to Taken and your opponent gaining a position of advantage. With the development of modern half guard and turtle techniques, the practitioner now has the opportunity to launch a powerful attacking and sweeping offense. Things you need to know. First of all, being able to see the six primary positions in the role when you are on top, how to control an attack, when you are on the bottom, how to defend and escape. The second thing is the basic idea of how to control your opponent in each position top how to position your legs, how to control your opponent's movement, and how to lay your weight correctly so that you can pin them to the floor. On the bottom, how to position and start your escape before your opponent is crushing you and not giving away obvious submissions. Learn at least two transitions from the top position, knowing that every position offers ways to transition to other positions. For example, we just saw Logan move from side control to the back. The next thing you need to know are at least two transitions from bottom positions. Example are being mounted and knowing a couple of ways to get out of there. Having your opponent in your guard, knowing there are opportunities for sweeping, back takes, and submissions. You also need to know two submissions from every position. The goal of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is to submit your opponent. Submissions make the game more fun and also offer ideas in the case that you need to use Jiu Jitsu in a self-defense scenario. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a game of physical chess. The passport to enjoying live sparring is having a basic game plan from every position. Your game plan may not always work, but that is the part of this beautiful art. Learning to counter his counter and counter the counter. The first step in navigation is always figuring out where you are and what steps it takes to get to the correct destination. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a positional game at its core. Putting position before submission is good advice, both when you are learning the art and also when you are actually rolling with someone. As a new student, it is important to concentrate on learning good positional skills. If you find yourself in a bottom position, first defend and escape and work to improve your position. Next, we have an example of how a match could go. Logan takes down Marcia and lands in her guard. He looks to posture and then he's going to look to open up her legs. 
Next, controlling the legs, he passes into side control. Once he stabilizes the position, his next move will be to advance and go to the mount. He also could have chose to go from side control to knee on the belly. From the knee on the belly position, he could move to the mount, or he could look to see if he could get the back. Your opponent's movements will usually tell you which would be the best option. From the mount, he may be able to take the back and submissions may appear anywhere along the way, especially if your opponent is completely focused on preventing your positional progression. Here's an example of a defensive strategy map. From every bad position, try to get to guard, or failing that, to the turtle. Remember when you're on bottom, you are reacting to what your opponent is doing to you. Those are just examples and it's important to remember that there are other possible strategy maps. If you are just starting out in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, start with a couple of basic submissions and learn how to apply them. Submissions make Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fun. At first, it doesn't really matter which of those techniques you learn, just pick any two from each position and go from there. Let's take a deeper look inside the clothes guard. The first concern of the top player is to establish posture. The person on the bottom is trying to break the opponent's posture and take them out of their base. For the top person, the idea is to open the legs and pass the guard. We have the options to go over the legs, under the legs and around. We can also choose to stand up and go completely around and try to find ourselves in a side control position. Bottom transitions from the guard are called sweeps and they are used to reverse your opponent putting you on top. There are also a variety of submissions from the guard. The open guard is when your legs are not closed around your opponent's torso. The most common open guard is having your feet on your opponent's hips and controlling at least one sleeve and a collar. Other open guards you will see are spider guard, lasso guard, and the delaheva guard which is great for sweeping and back taking. Half guard is where your opponent is halfway past your guard and you are controlling one of their legs with your leg. In this neutral position your opponent is looking to pass the guard and you are looking to recover, sweep, or take the back as we see Logan achieving this on Marcia right here. In side control, we're pinning our opponent's upper body to the mat using our weight. We're also checking their hip with our knee and using a cross face to stop them from turning into us so they can't recover their guard. Knee on the belly can be very miserable for your opponent as you're using one knee to pin their chest to the mat, keeping that foot off the floor for more weight and to help redirect legs. We also keep a foot on the floor for base and balance. In the mount, your weight rests on your opponent's abdomen as you are directly on top of them. Your knees are pinching their hips and you keep your body low and close to your opponent in order to maintain your base in the mount. Position can be a lot of work to defend from if you are on the bottom, especially if your opponent has settled their weight. When you're on your opponent's back and you're controlling them with your hooks, do not cross your ankles in this position or you're going to get tapped. Grips we use in back control are the seat belt, Kimura seat belt, double motorcycle grip, single motorcycle grip. If you end up with your back taken, the first thing you want to do is protect your neck and start your escape. You'll most likely end up in a half guard or some kind of guard. Last but not least, the turtle position. If you are on top of someone's turtle, you're in a good position as you can attack submissions or take their back. If you are on the bottom, you probably ended up here due to a bad shot and got sprawled on. You should be looking to escape. In conclusion, the best way to get better at jiu-jitsu is to do jiu-jitsu. Have fun and enjoy the experience. Experience. Respect yourself and your training partners to help yourself from getting hurt and also from hurting your training partners. Everyone's journey will be different, so don't focus on promotions or comparing yourself to your partner. If you found our beginner's guide to jiu-jitsu is helpful, hit that like button. If you know somebody who is interested in starting Brazilian jiu-jitsu, share this video with them. Please don't hesitate to comment on this video if there's something you want to know. As always, we appreciate that you stayed all the way to the end of this video. Now go train and train hard.